Hello, Rolando. Hello, Ruben. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, how are you tonight, Rolando? Excellent. Okay, that's great. Yolanda, welcome uh, to class. Haciendo los ejercicios. Oh, Fine, teacher. Okay. Are you working on section five? Yes, uh, teacher. Yes, ah, okay, that's great. Let me see. Hi, Ruben. Good evening. Tonight is a rainy night. Is it rainy in the place where you live? Está lloviendo donde vive? Yes. It's raining very hard. Está lloviendo mucho, ¿verdad? Acá está igual. Esperemos que se quite. Hello, Stephanie. Welcome to the class. Oscar, welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Hello, welcome. Okay, the last class. Do you remember the last class topic? We were studying. We were studying Jeron and participle. Do you remember that? And tonight we're going to study a uh, present perfect. ¿Ya han visto alguna vez el present perfect? Yes, the present perfect. Is it easy or difficult? Más o menos easy. Ah, ok. El verbo tiene tres formas, ¿verdad? Tiene presente, tiene pasado y tiene participio pasado. ¿Cuál de los tres necesitamos para el presente perfecto? Hello, Juan. Good evening. Welcome to the class. ¿Se recuerda? Bueno, el día de hoy vamos a recordar. ¿eh? So, let's start with tonight class. And the topic is present perfect. I am sharing with you the presentation. Can you please let me know if you can see it? Can you see the presentation? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay, thank you, Yolanda. So we'll continue class number 13. We are almost to finish this in this course. Uh, four classes and we are done. Cuatro clases más, la de hoy, la de los otros tres días de la semana, and we are done. Lo malo, lo malo es que para el día jueves usted tiene que tener completa la plataforma, ¿verdad? La sección número cinco y el examen final, antes de la última clase. O sea, antes del próximo jueves, tiene que estar terminada la plataforma o por lo menos al 80%. Keep that in mind, please. Keep that in mind. Don't forget about the platform exercises and also the final exam. Ya terminaron? If you have already finished, that's great. Si ya terminaron las plataformas, es genial. Then let's go with the class. In lesson objective in this lesson, we will study the present perfect. Ask and answer questions using the present perfect with regular and irregular past participle. That is the goal for tonight. So, let us start with this. Look at this bear. Estos verbos son regulares o irregulares? Regular o irregular? Regular. Regular. Okay, all of them are regular. Como lo sabemos por su terminación, ¿verdad? La, mari la mayoría de ellos termina en ED, y ED, E o D. Como les mencionaba, hay tres formas del verbo. El primero es el infinitive, que significa que el verbo está en su forma base sin ninguna conjugación. That is infinitive. Then we have past simple, el pasado simple, ¿verdad? The simple past. Y luego tengo el past participle, participio pasado. En el caso de los verbos regulares, el mismo past simple es el past participle. El mismo, la misma forma del pasado simple es la forma del pasado participio. No cambia en los verbos regulares. 
So as you can see, add, add it, add it, easy. We have dry, dry, dry. No problem, enjoy. The past simple is enjoyed, and the past participle is enjoyed. Then we have pain, infinitive, simple past painted, painted in the past participle. El mismo pasado es el mismo participio pasado. No, no tiene ningún cambio con los verbos regulares. Ahora veamos la siguiente lista de verbos. Irregular verbs. Son verbos irregulares. Look, base form or infinity form, past simple and pari past participle. Acá sí, ¿verdad? Algunos verbos son diferentes. Look at the first one. Awake, awoke, awoken. La forma base o la forma infinitiva, awake. El pasado simple, awoke. El past participle, awoken. Veamos otro, drink, drink infinitivo, drunk and drunk, drink, drunk, drunk, eat, it's another example, eat, a eaten. Entonces acá sí, ¿verdad? No se rigen por ninguna regla, cada verbo tiene su propia forma. ¿Cuál es la única manera de aprendernos estos verbos? Uno por en memoria. Uno. De memoria, tenemos que ir uno por uno. So, I say, high, hit, high, then. Live, left, left. Lose, lost, lost. And so on. Run, run, and run. Teach, doubt, and doubt. Para el presente perfecto, que es el tiempo que vamos a estudiar en la clase del día de hoy. Bueno, en la sección 5 de este curso. ¿Cuál de estas tres vamos a necesitar? Vamos a necesitar la tercera columna. Past participle. Vamos a necesitar el participio pasado de cada uno de los verbos. Para poder formar el presente perfecto. Say a look of this. Para hacer una oración en presente perfecto necesitamos un sujeto. El auxiliar have o has. En el past participle. Y esta forma del verbo. The past participle, past participle form of the verb. Un sujeto. El auxiliar have. O has been. Tenemos que conjugarlo con las terceras personas. Va a ser has. Luego necesitamos el participio pasado de los verbos. Look at this example. I have eaten almond cookies. You have sung a cool song. She has danced very well. He has watched the movie three times. It has been cloudy the whole week. We have washed the car thousand of times. They have swam in the river. Then as you can see, subject, auxiliary have and has. Como verbo, have and has significa tener. Como auxiliar significa haber, haber. Then I have here, eaten, dance, watch, eh, being, wash, and swan. Yes, let me show about sun. So the mass, sun, 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 sun. Oh, it is in here. Sing, sun, sun. Okay, in this case, it is a mistake here, right? I'm going to fix it right now. It is a simple pass. And it must be an past participle. Like this one. Do you have some a cool song? Tienen alguna pregunta hasta el momento? Do you have any question? No. No? Okay, thank you. Now, I need a volunteer to practice reading these sentences. Who wants to practice tonight? Thank you, Rolando. Do it. The teacher. Yes. Shoes a new volunteers. Ah, nice. Just yes, a volunteer, right? <laughs> Rolando, thank you. Do it, please. Um, I have eating almond cookies. You have sung a cool song. She has danced very well. He has watched 
the movie three times. It has been cloudy the whole week. We have washed the car thousands of time. They have swam in the river. River. Okay, they have swam in the river. Thank you. Thank you so much. And then let's go over the next. So we are going to practice in this conversation. I need that you read this conversation. And tell me, you have any question about vocabulary or difficult word to pronounce in this? No. So it says, it's great to see you, Top. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to shop in the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Mm, I've already done that too. Have you ridden in a street car? They are a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. So what is this conversation about? Do you have any idea about what is this conversation? What is this conversation about? Basically, the conversation the conversation is about the the guys the guys are talking about the the different place in New Orleans as well. He let's see let's see. She's uh, she's talking about the the glow glow just glow sorry. And the different oh, place. Okay. They are talking about the activities that he has already done and the activities that he hasn't done yet. Están hablando acerca de las actividades que él ya hizo en ese lugar y las actividades que no ha hecho, ¿verdad? So, thank you, Oscar, for your ideas. So, look at the first question. It's great to see you, Todd. How have you been in New Orleans long? Has estado por mucho tiempo en Nueva Orleans? Entonces, just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to shop to the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Jazz to business in a club de jazz? He said, yeah, I have already been to one. Si, sí, ya estuve en uno. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Mm, I have already done that too. Que hay de un paseo en bote por el río. Y él dice, I've already done that too. Yo ya hice eso también. Have you ridden in a street car? They are a lot of fun. ¿Ya has montado un carro? Dice, eso es muy divertido. Dice, actually, that's how I got here. En realidad, así es como llegué, conduciendo un auto. Eh, well, is there anything you want to do? Bueno, hay algo que quieras hacer. You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Eh, parece que ya ha hecho todo, ¿verdad? Ya, ya ha hecho todo lo que hay que, las, digamos, las atracciones de ese lugar. ¿verdad? Ya las realizó todas. Al final, dice, lo único que quiere es tranquilo, ¿verdad? Tomarse el día tranquilo porque my feet are killing me. What is the meaning of that phrase? My feet are killing me. How do you translate this phrase? My feet are killing me. Yo se está cansada. Mis piernas me están matando. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Como mis pies me duelen mucho. Me están doliendo. I need to volunteer to practice in this conversation. Who wants to try? Thank you, Rolando. And... Any other volunteer? Kenny, creo que levantó la mano. Ah, <laughs> Samira lo dice todo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's listen to Rolando and Kenny. Why not? Okay. 
So, Kenny, you are Jan, and Rolando, you are Toad. You can start, please. Okay. Uh, it's great to see you, to see you. Todd, have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I am really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you have you been to Jazz Club yet? Yeah, I already been to one. Oh well. How about River Bow Tour? Uh I already done that too. Have you riding in a street car? There are a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You, you want know, to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay, thank you so thank much, you, Kenny. Kenny. Thank you, Kenny and Rolando. That was great. Very good. I'm really excited to be here. Let's go to the next. Don't forget about this question, have you been? Have you been? So auxiliary, a subject in the past participle form of the verb. Look at this another example. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Again, right, auxiliary have, subject, a past participle form of the verb, complementing the question mark. And this is an affirmative sentence. I've already been to one. That is talent. So let's go with the next thing. Present perfect, already and yet. What is the meaning of already? Do you remember what is the meaning of this word already? And yet, what's the meaning? Do you remember the meaning of that? Already means ya, and yet, todavía. So the present perfect is formed with the verb have plus the past participle. Don't forget this. Necesitamos el auxiliar have y el past participle. Have you been to a jazz club? Yes, I've been to several. Has she ridden in a street car? Yes, yeah, she's ridden in one. Has he called home lately? Yes, yeah, he's called twice this weekend. Have they eaten dinner yet? Yes, yeah, they've, they've already eaten. Or you can choose the negative answer. No, I haven't been to one. No, she hasn't ridden in one. No, he hasn't called in months. No, they haven't eaten yet. And you can see here the contraction I, la contraction de I have. You, la contraction de you have. His, la contraction de he has. She's, she has. It, it has. With, we have. They've, they have. Haven't and hasn't. Haven't, have not, and hasn't, has not. Do you have any question in this part? Anyone has a question in this part? No question, teacher. Nope. No question, okay. I need a volunteer to read this question. Who wants? Well, actually I need two volunteers. One to read the question and the other one to read the answer. Thank you, Stephanie. So you are going to read the question, Stephanie. Who wants to read the answer? Have Anyone? you been to Jabsa Club? Yes, I've been to several. Has she riding in the street car? Yes, she's riding in one. Has he called her home lottery? Yes, she's calling twice this a week. Have they eaten dinner yet? Yes, they're all 
already ate it. Okay, thank you so much. Now I thank you, Stephanie. Now I have who wants who wants to read? I need to want to thank you, Xiomara and Jacqueline. Xiomara, is it okay if you read the question and Jacqueline the answers, please? Okay. Have you been to just two? Yes, it's been to several. No, I haven't been to one. Has she ride in the street court? Yes, she is riding in one. No, she hasn't ridden in one. Has he called it home lady? Yes, he has called it twice this week. No, he hasn't called it in months. Have they eaten dinner yet? Yes. They've already eaten. No, they haven't eaten yet. Thank you so much. That was excellent. Thank you, Xiomara and Jacqueline. Do you have any question? Yeah, the pronunciation for lately, home lately. And the okay. third uh, How question. How do you call home lately? Lately. Lately. Okay. lately. Um, Oh, okay. okay, thank you. Okay, any other question? No question? If you don't have any question, let's go with this. For present perfect, we will use have or has. And when we're going to use have, con que pronombres vamos a utilizar have? We are going to use have with, con cuáles pronombres? Do you have an idea? We, you, uh, I. Then you are going to say also, that is not a good color. I'm going to choose. I, you. Oh, okay, you say you have. Which other one? We have, have, we have, they have, have they have, they have. Y esto, have. Con, y esto contractado se pronuncia como? You. 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 Y este de acá? Will. 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 Y el último? Dave. 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 Falta I have. I have. And? I have, thank you so much. I have it. I. I. How do you pronounce this? I. 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 So you with they and I. And has. She has. He has. He has. He has. He has. He has. He has. And it has. He contractado. She. What's your name? She is. He is. He is. He is and. It. It. It's. It's. Ok. ¿Cómo voy a diferenciarlos cuando estoy utilizando el verbo to be? For the context and the participle. Ah, ok. That's excellent. You have to take a look at the context, right? Of the sentence. If you see that after she is, is a past participle, then you say, oh, it's present perfect, right? So the have or has will depend on the person we talk about. If we are talking about you, we are going to have. You, we, they, and I, we are going to use have. Uh, she, he, and it has. We use the present perfect when we want to express action which began in the past and continue in the present. Vamos a utilizar este tiempo, ¿verdad? Cuando la acción haya comenzado en el pasado y aún no termina. Aún persiste en el presente. So look at this example. She has worked in the bank for five years. So ella ha trabajado en el banco por cinco años y continúa trabajando allí. No ha terminado. She has worked in the bank for five years. 
Si ya la hubiesen despedido, ¿qué tiempo utilizaríamos? Past, simple. Simple, past, porque la acción simple. ya ha terminado, quedó en el pasado. Sería, she worked in the bank. Ella trabajó en el banco. Pero como estamos utilizando presente perfecto, significa que ella todavía es empleada del banco. We have had the same car for 10 years. Hemos tenido el mismo carro por 10 años. We have had the same car for 10 years. Y todavía lo tenemos. Todavía tenemos el mismo. Comenzó en el pasado y todavía me continúa en el presente. En ese caso utilizamos el present perfect. Any question in this part? Preguntas? No question, then let's go over the next explanation. Also, we use the present perfect when we make reference to an unfinished temporary period of time. Y también utilizamos el presente perfecto cuando utilizamos ¿verdad? un periodo de tiempo que no ha finalizado. I have worked hard this week. He trabajado duro esta semana y apenas es miércoles todavía, ¿verdad? Entonces, ese periodo de tiempo no ha terminado. This week. Todavía estamos en esta semana. I have worked hard this week. It has rained a lot of this. It has rained a lot of this year. Ha llovido mucho este año. Todavía estamos en junio, ¿verdad? Lo que nos falta de aquí que llueva todavía. Entonces, ese periodo de tiempo temporal no ha terminado we haven't seen her today todavía son de la tarde ¿verdad? pero yo digo no la hemos visto nosotros no eh, no la hemos visto hoy todavía queda parte del día pueda que la vea más tarde todavía we haven't seen her today repeating action in a specific period of time between the present and the past también lo vamos a utilizar para decir acciones repetidas. Por ejemplo, they have seen that film six times. Ellos han visto esa película seis veces. Han repetido esta acción seis veces. We have eaten at that restaurant many times. Hemos comido en ese restaurante muchas veces. So... Acciones que se repiten. Repeated action. We use the present perfect. And the last one, the last use. When timing is not relevant or it is unknown. Cuando el tiempo no es relevante o es desconocido. Someone has eaten myself. Someone has eaten myself. Alguien se ha comido mi sopa. Pero no dicen qué tiempo de comida fue, ¿verdad? Si era para el breakfast, lunch, o si fue en la mañana, en la tarde. El tiempo no es relevante en esta oración, solo la acción. Son when has eaten myself. Do you have any question about how to use the present perfect? No. ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? Okay, if you don't have any question, let's go with the first exercise on the platform. We are going to solve this. Here we go. This, this part. It is on section number five. Have you ever ridden a camel? ¿Alguna vez han montado un camello? And we are going to work in this. We are going to complete this conversation using the present perfect. Use the verb in brackets. What is the right answer for the first one? Number one, what have you done? Have Number you done? Have done. Have done. Have done. Have done. Have done. Have done. Have you done more exercise this week? Have you done? Have done. Have you done? 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 Have you
Okay, no, have exercise. you done much exercise this week? Oh, eh, ¿Cuál es el pasado simple de este verbo? Do. 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 Okay, I have already been to aerobic class for times. Okay, number three. Have you? Have you, have played, you played any sport? Okay, have you played? Play. Number one, is okay? Number one. Yes, number one. Number four. No, I. No, I haven't. I have no, no, I haven't had, no, I haven't had, no, I haven't had. Option three. Okay, this one? Yes. Yes. Okay, no, I haven't had. How many movies have you seen this Have you seen? Had you seen? How many movies have you seen this month? I know that. Me acaba de pasar una cosa. Quien se en la casa de Leti que participando. Hello, Samara. ¿Qué le pasó? No, no, nada. Perdón. Okay. Es una confesión. Es que no, me estoy, estoy. Teniendo problemas con el micrófono y se me apaga y se me enciende solito. Voy a salirme, ya vuelvo a entrar. Eso era lo que estaba diciendo. Okay. Estaba pidiendo ayuda por eso. Ok. Qué tremendo. Ok, let's go with number six. Actually, I, 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 haven't, I, haven't, seen, I haven't, haven't seen any yet. Haven't okay. seen. Seven. Have you been? Have you been? Have you been to any interesting parties? Sure. Sure. The second one is okay. Yes. 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 What about number eight? No, I haven't gone. I haven't gone. The last haven't gone. The last option three. Okay, haven't gone. Haven't gone. Have you called any friends today? Have you called any Have friends? Call. 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 How okay. you call? Okay, thank you. How do you call any friends today? And number 10. If yes, I may. may. Or, may. Yes, I may. Yes, I may. I May. May. I already may. Okay, let's see if you're right. Yes. Yes, you're right. 33 points of 33 points. Thank you. Okay, I need to volunteer to practice in this small conversation. Question and answer. Who wants to try? Who wants to help me? Any volunteer? Yo solo quería decirles, teacher, que no se olviden de que los verbos cuando terminan en ed se pronuncian con th. Oh. Sí, por ejemplo, cold, ¿verdad? It's cold. Sí, ¿verdad? Mm. Correct. No, no really. Es que yo era como tenía ese problema de pronunciación y a cada rato me han corregido eso, teacher, porque si cold, ya le he dicho cold. Me dicho, no, es TH. Entonces, híjole, complicado. Ah, pero la terminación de los verbos regulares son tres sonidos. Terminan en sonido de T, like, sonido de D, like, y sonido de IT. ¿Entonces, you remember that, es fun? No, oh, es cierto, pero depende del verbo, ¿no? Vale, let's see, for example, this word. Work. And you have this in past, worked, worked. worked. It ends in T sound. Al final del verbo tiene que pronunciar una T. T. T sound, worked. And then we have the verb played. 
este verbo del pasado, pero el sonido de esa ed se pronuncia como played. 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 En el caso de call, que es el que estamos diciendo, es we have call and we have called. Called. Termina en D sound. Like this. Called. Played. Called. Y los verbos que termina en T or D, como need, hay en pasado, que se pronuncia el sonido id. Es la idea. Id. Need it. Or need it. O oh, podemos utilizar de ejemplo el verbo want. Want. Termina en tever. Y al agregarle ed, se pronuncia como id. Sería wanted. Wanted. Y así se pronuncian los verbos regulares. Ahora, ¿cómo saber cuándo vamos a pronunciar t y cuándo vamos a pronunciar d? Hay una listita de, de las letras, ¿verdad? Que algunas son voiceless. Así, voiceless y unas que son voice. ¿Cuáles son las voiceless? Las que cuando usted las pronuncia no le producen ninguna vibración uh, en su garganta. Esas son las voiceless. Esas se van a pronunciar con T. Y las voice, las voice, que sí son las que le provocan una vibración cuando usted las pronuncia, va a pronunciar D. De voice. ¿Les parece si vemos esto mañana? For you to remember this. Yes, yes, please. Ah, yes, okay. Please. Okay, then I'm going to please. add this to the class of tomorrow. Eh, can si you Omara, see ¿dónde? me? Can you see? Can you? Can you? Ah, me pueden escuchar. Es que veo que no se me activa. El, pero yo creo yes, que we can hear okay. you. Tell us. Thank you. Ah, ok. Bueno, mañana vemos con más detalle esto, ¿verdad? La pronunciación de los verbos regulares. Eh, voy a eliminar eso y continuamos. Entonces, I need to volunteer to practice this small conversation. Eh, conversation number one. Question and answer. Who wants to practice? Ok, I have Lorena en su mara. Thank you. Lorena, do the question and Xiomara the answers. Xiomara, had you done much exercise this week? Yes, I have already been to aerobic class for time. Okay, excellent. Let's go with the next. Next question, next answer. Have you played any sports this month? No, I haven't had the time. Okay, let's see the other conversation. How many movies had you seen this month? Actually, I haven't seen any yet. Okay, and the next. Has you been to any interesting parties recently? No, I haven't gone to any parties for quite a while. Very good. And the last one? Have you called any friends today? Yes. I've already made three calls. Okay, that was excellent. Thank you. I need another to volunteer to practice in this question and answer. Thank you so much. Who wants, who wants to try? I need to volunteer, the last volunteer. And then we go to another exercise. I have Stephanie and Jacqueline. Thank you. Stephanie, can you please read the question and Jacqueline the answers? Here okay. we go. Have you done much exercise this week? Yes, I have. 
already been the aerobics class for a time. Let's go to the next. Excellent. Have you played it and sport this month? No, I haven't had the time. Next, please. How much movies have you seen this month? Actually, I haven't I haven't seen any yet. Next, please. Have you been to any inter interesting participants recently? No, I haven't gone to any parties for quite a while. The last one. Have you called any friends today? Yes, he made. Yes, he already made three calls. Uh, okay, thank you so much. Almost perfect. How do you pronounce these words? Give me a second. This one, how do you pronounce this word? Paris. Paris. And this other one? Recently. Okay, recently. Recently. And this other one, how do you pronounce this? While. 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 And I hear another one. Just a second. Here it was. Oh, this, this. Can you please repeat this? This one? I made. I made. I already made. I already made. I already made. Jacqueline, can you please? Yes, I I me, no perdón. Yes, I already made three calls. Three calls. Okay, excellent. Excellent, thank you. Do you have any questions now on this exercise? No questions? No. No? Okay, that's perfect. Let's go with another one. Let's see. Here we go. What is it? Okay, we were in this slide. Here we go. Oh, look at this. Uh, now let's talk about already in jet. Already means ya in jet todavía. Already usually go after or have or has and before the main verb. Eh, already lo vamos a utilizar cuando ya hemos realizado esa acción. We have already had our breakfast. Ya tuvimos nuestro desayuno. When are you going to do your homework? But I have already done it. ¿Cuándo vas a hacer tu tarea? Le dice la mamá. But I've already done it. Pero ya la hice, ¿verdad? Ya la he hecho. Ya está hecha. Then already. Generalmente se escribe o se usa antes, after have, antes del verbo, después del auxiliar. We have already had our breakfast. So, can you see? Después del auxiliar, antes del verbo. Yeah, here is the same case. I've already done it. And, yet. Means that something that we expected has happened or hasn't happened, we usually put it at the end of a sentence. Utilizamos yet cuando tenemos la expectativa de que ya ha sucedido o no ha sucedido una acción. Has the post arrived yet? Como ya arribó la carta. Have you done your homework? Say no yet. Haven't you got ready? Haven't you got ready? Look at the time. 
no has terminado todavía, mira la hora. Ya se pasó. Then yet es algo que, una actividad que nosotros tenemos la expectativa que ya ha sucedido o que no ha sucedido. Do you have any question about already in chat? Y generalmente, ¿verdad? Usualmente ponemos chat al final de la oración. Look at this. Have the pause of right? Chat. Have you done your homework? When you say, no, chat. Haven't you got ready yet? Look at the time. Questions? No question this part? No. Entonces, yet se utiliza como en probabilidad. Um, sí, es como que algo, ¿verdad? como, have you read the book yet? ¿Ya leíste ese libro o no has leído el libro todavía? Es como que nosotros esperamos que ya esté terminada esa acción. Pero no está, ¿verdad? So, no yet, no todavía. Mm, oh. bueno. Está bien. Gracias. Okay, Jacqueline. Now we're going to complete with have or has. We're going to complete this exercise. The teacher, please repeat the explanation for already. Okay, let's come back to already. Already means a fiaber, algo que recientemente acabamos de terminar. So, already usually goes, y lo escribimos usualmente, antes del verbo, antes del verbo, en este caso have, en el ejemplo, y después del auxiliar have. We already have our breakfast. Significa que ya hicimos esa acción. We have already have our breakfast. Ya tuvimos nuestro desayuno. En el otro ejemplo, when are you going to do your homework? Es como lo están regañando, ¿verdad? ¿Cuándo vas a hacer tu tarea? Y él dice, pero si ya la he hecho, ya la he terminado, then I've already done it. Y entonces es para decir una acción que ya terminamos en el pasado. Para eso utilizamos already. Is it clear now? Okay, thank you. Then let's come back to the exercises. Sí, complete with have or has. My sister, my sister has, has okay. Eating. My sister has has what? Has Can you eating. Eaten my cake. Okay, my sister has eaten my cake. The children they have lost. Okay, have lost their passport. Uh -huh. Your friend. Has been. Okay, excellent. Number four. I have never. No, have never. Number five. We have. have good. Had. The next. I have. I have just. Had. I have again. My husband has forgotten. My husband has forgotten my birthday. ¿Qué pasaría si su esposo hace eso? Or your boyfriend has forgotten my birthday. Mi a mi esposo se le olvidó mi cumpleaños. No hubo pastel. Hasta ahí llegó, dice que ni. <laughs> Hasta ahí llegó la relación. <laughs> Fue un gusto. Okay, uh, I need one volunteer to read these sentences. Who wants? Who wants to try? Any volunteer? Thank you, Xiomara. We are going to listen to Xiomara and then Yolanda. Go ahead, Xiomara, please. Do it. My sister has eaten my cakes. My, uh, the children has lost their passport. Your friend has been happy all day. I have never traveled my plane. We have cut our hair today. 
I have just had a shower. My husband has forgotten my birthday. Excellent, thank you. Very good job, Yolanda, it's your turn. Okay, my sister has eaten my cake. The children have lost their passport. Your friend has been happy all day. I have never traveled by plane. We have cut our hair today. I have just had a shower. My husband has forgotten my birthday. Okay, excellent. One more. Any other volunteer? Okay, Ruben, thank you. My sister has eaten my cake. The children have lost their passport. Your friend has been happy all day. I have never traveled by plane. We have cup or hair today. I have just had a shower. My, my husband has forgotten my birthday. Okay, excellent, thank you. Now, can you make negative the first sentence? My sister. Hasn't. Okay, my sister hasn't eaten my cake. Eaten the second one, the children. Haven't lost haven't. their passport. Okay, and number three, your friend. Your friend hasn't, hasn't been, been happy all happy. day. Your friend hasn't been happy all day. And number four. I, I haven't have never traveled but plan. Number five. We haven't cooked our, our cake today. 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 Six. I, I haven't just had a shower. shower. Right. And the last one. We haven't cut our my hair. husband, 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 husband forgetting for my birthday. Okay, that's nice. Uh, now let's come back to the list of the birds. Give me a second. Let's come back to this list. Can you please choose one? Just give me a second. Can you choose one of these birds and help me making a sentence with this? In a second, I'm going to show. Here we go. Who wants to make an affirmative sentence using one of these birds? Where are they? Oh, here is it. He choose one and tell me a sentences in, sim in present perfect. So, affirmative sentence first. Any volunteer? For example, teacher, I, I joined the class. Okay, I have done the. No, in present, I I joined the class. And, and as, uh, after that, the sentence in participle, I have joined the class. Yeah, I have done. No, I have joined. El pasado participio de este verbo que es irregular, do es done. Entonces en la oración nos quedaría así: I have done. No, teacher, I, say, I, I said, I said, joined. Oh, joined. Yeah. I have joined to the, the class. class. Yeah. Ah, okay. So, I have joined to the class. Any other example? That's perfect. Very good. I have entered the platform. I have entered. Ended. Ended. Okay. I have ended. Ended, ended the platform. The platform. Did you pray cheating in the speak? Uh, can you please repeat? Have you prayed? Prayed, como se dice en pastors? Have you prayed? Chicken in this week. Ah, then you fried. Fried yeah, chicken. Yeah. Fried chicken. Have you fried chicken? I can talk in French chicken. <laughs> Han frito pollo alguna vez? Have you fried chicken? 
Have you ever fried chicken? Have you ever fried chicken? Any other example? Good example, thank you. Choose another bird. Choose another one. Bueno, pero quizás le gustan más los irregulares. Vamos con los irregulares. Okay, irregular. Can you choose one of the irregular birds? I have, I have sweat. Old house is correct. I have sweat. Sweat like yeah. barrer. Okay, let's see. Sweat. Ah, it isn't here, but it's a good. Sweat. I have sweat. My house. Okay. Any other? Any other example? Have you ever a a rain? As you say, no rain. Yeah. And come here. Can you can you speak a little bit slowly, please? Have you ever drawn uh, eighteen or oh, eight? ¿Cómo se dice comer en past participle? Can you please write your sentence on the chat because I can't hear okay, you. Okay, okay, okay. Anyone? Just one more, please. Just one more to finish the class. Who wants to help me? I have read a lot of books. Okay, thank you. I have read a lot of books. A lot of books. Okay, thank you. And here is the sentence. Have you ever eaten kuzuko? <laughs> have you ever eaten wow. kuzuko? Uh, no, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't. Have you? Have you ever eaten kuzuko? No, I haven't, but my... No, I haven't. No, I, no, I haven't. haven't. I haven't. Okay, we're going to stop here the class. Thank you so much for being here with me tonight. Don't forget about the section number five, please, and also the final exam. See you tomorrow at 9 p.m. Bye bye. Good night. Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.